undefeated. All right, gentlemen, first round. Ready to fight? You ready to fight? Hell, let's go. They're both ready to fight, and immediately, McKee said he would go for a Masvidal-esque jumping knee like Masvidal did against Ben Askren, and this time, well, Campos avoided it, and McKee looking to get flashy quick, and it might just cost him here against the double tough Campos. <laughs> he did not lie about going for it. And right here, this is where on the ground, AJ is big with elbows. He likes to throw elbows. Oh, and beautiful sweep out sweep position. And a nice left hand it, on the exit. It took him only eight seconds to dispatch Georgie Karahanian. He was looking for the Bellator record, and he is looking to put out Campos quick here tonight. It's hard to put Derek Campos out because he's such a gritty and durable fighter. This is a smart attack by AJ. Take him down, wear him down. You do not have to get rid of everybody in eight seconds. Give him the back, not a smart move. Four of McKee's 15 wins have come via submission. Looking for the first round rear naked choke here against Derek Campos. It Campos is, in trouble. It is on the jawline, but that jaw can be dislocated if you understand what you're doing with that squeeze. Well defended by Campos. The veteran, in, he's in his 30th professional fight here tonight. Derek on working on just controlling the arm, making sure he at least controls the one hand like we talk about all the time. AJ just needs to just work towards building towards that moment where he makes a mistake with his hands. There is Antonio McKee, AJ's 49-year-old father, who fought on the same card as AJ the last time around, the first North American father-son to compete in a major MMA event, and what a night it was for the McKee family, both victorious. The first father-son combination to get wins by both in a major promotion. And now McKee from the close guard of Campos. Campos, the veteran, controlling, trying to control the posture, but McKee with the wide base, putting all the pressure in the open guard of Campos. Campos with an upkick that misses. And that is a lot of pressure when AJ is up on his feet with his head coming down. That's the old position of a guy like Tito Ortiz used to use to land big shots, heavy elbows. Hey, McKee's faced top opposition and former champion Pat Curran, but McKee told us that yeah, he figures that Campos is going to be the toughest opponent he's had, literally speaking, the toughest. AJ just oh. locked that arm between wow. behind him, and that's why Derek Campos turned his back. Giving up his back, hooks are in. All, oh, body triangle being employed by AJ McKee. Two minutes remaining in a round, first round. And Derek Campos needs to take that body triangle, put that foot to the ground. That's the right way to start working against that body triangle and turn within it. Campos has been submitted twice in his career. He's lost four times via form of knockout. Has showcased plenty of resiliency. Snapped a three-fight losing streak in the opening round of the tournament. But in tough here against the hard-charging, high-flying A.J. McKee. Nice job by AJ to get that lock back up high. What AJ needs to work against is don't squeeze when you know I'm not sure if I have it. I don't squeeze hard until I know I have it, then I put everything into it. Hard to pick a body lock, that's for sure. <laughs> Final 60 seconds here in the opening round, and AJ McKee proving to be all Derek Campos can handle in the first five minutes. And now McKee maneuvering here, John, looking for that rear naked choke, well defended by Campos. It is well defended, but this is what I'm talking about. Just create these situations where the hands all of a sudden miss that one opportunity and you can slide that choke in. McKee just 24 years of age. It is so much harder to get a rear naked choke when you're wearing a set of MMA gloves than it is in like in a jiu-jitsu tournament where you can slide your hand through. It's got that big wedge that someone can kind of grab a hold of the wrist and it just holds that arm in place. Seen McKee's slick submission skills at work and trying to still work for the finish here with 
Ten seconds now left in the opening round. All A.J. McKee in the first frame of the first quarterfinal matchup of the Featherweight World Grand Prix. He almost had that at the end. All right, gentlemen, second round. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. Head up, let's go. Bell in round and number two, A.J. McKee in the red gloves, Derek Campos in the blue gloves. Unofficial scorecard, that's an easy round to score in favor of A.J. McKee. And he gave it John 10-8 as we are in the second of a scheduled five rounds as AJ, Campos goes low with the inside leg kick. A.J. Dom at the action of that first. Oh, oh he's hurt. Campos is down. A.J. McKee diving in. Ground and pound on the durable Campos. The Campos hurt. tasting left hands. And A.J. McKee swarming Derek Campos. And Campos has survived the attack thus far, neutralizing McKee for the moment. Great job by Derek Campos to at least get that guard position so he could slow down the attack of A.J. McKee. McKee right now just settling himself down, grabbing some air. Speaks to his maturation process as a 24-year-old yes, mixed martial artist. You know, he put a lot of energy out. He heard it, went after him, realized, oh, I'm not going to get this. Slowed it down. He's now breathing. This is where we say that you've got to find those spots in the fight where you can get your rest. Nice pass. Oh, looking for the darts here. And that front face, that front headlock really is McKee's bread and butter. And he's Whether going it's over for the a top. Guard, he's in top right here. Those hips going down, that is going to make it tight. He just lost it. Oh. McKee allows Campos to get back up, and now McKee slugging it out with Campos. McKee shoots in, Campos defending. Campos just being durable right now. That is not a good sign that you see that AJ slides to his back. He is tired right now. His arms are heavy. He went after that Dars, tried to squeeze again. He's looking for rest. And now it's A.J. McKee now as an open guard on his back, controlling Campos posture. The veteran Campos still trying to sneak in some short hammer fists. Campos did land a left hook on A.J. before this position right here, so that might have had a big effect on A.J. McKee. And we remind everyone that, yes, this is a five-round fight in the Featherweight World Grand Prix, so it would behoove both fighters to potentially conserve energy where possible, knowing that this one could head to deep waters. Not that McKee is used to doing that, job. No, he is not. You know, that five round, that, you're looking at that and you're going, man, I don't want to get to that point. But you want to know that you can, and that's part of why you're seeing him slow the fight down and try to grab these moments of rest because he's thinking, uh, I wasn't able to finish him. I wasn't able to get him out of here. I might end up in that fourth, fifth round. And who prevails in this fight will get a break. They will. That's one of the benefits from kicking off the quarterfinal round here in Hawaii. As Campos now looking to try to maximize top position, but McKee controlling his posture seems comfortable. As the body triangle on Campos. I hate the body triangle from the guard this position. position. Right. As all it is is saying that, oh, I'm being completely defensive because I'm tired. I'm trying to grab air. Back to the full guard oh, with elbow. cross legs. But you got to figure that in the beginning of this round, Derek Campos took a lot of damage, was almost put out of the fight. He's got to make up some ground here. And it appears that Campos is trying to do just that. Under a minute left, hasn't really done much from top position. McKee active on the bottom, but unable to sweep Campos. Campos, is, he's been working. He just hasn't been able to land that really clean shot that he's looking for. Campos made his pro MMA debut in January of 2009, has been a part of the Bellator roster since 2012. In his 
17th Bellator fight, nine and seven with three knockouts in the Bellator MMA cage. Would love to hand AJ McKee his first loss. McKee looking for the armbar from the bottom, the scrambles. That's what sweat does for you. It's a beautiful thing. Nice attempt by AJ. Oh, some elbows from the top by Campos. All right, gentlemen, third round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Hell, let's go. Bell in round three. How do you score it unofficially after two, John? I have AJ McKee winning both rounds. The reason that he didn't win, that Campos didn't win that second round is he got hurt in the beginning, if you remember. And there was a lot for him to make up. He landed some shots, but not enough to make up the distance. AJ McKee gets it 10 miles. Turning 50 tonight, I actually didn't remember that, John, so thanks for reminding me. Uh, third round here, McKee going to the body with the left hand. Now, obvious, well, I'll ask you, who do you give the advantage to in a striking exchange like this? Well, no doubt, I believe that AJ McKee has the finer set of technical skills in striking. But Derek Campos, if he can just drive AJ into getting into a brawl, he well, has the ability to put AJ out. That won't be the case as McKee secures another takedown like his father comes from a wrestling base. Actually, Pat Curran, one of the only men to really ground McKee off a well-timed takedown, but wasn't able to do much from his position on top. And now McKee working from the bottom. Working from the bottom. He's just oh, the tap out! McKee forces Derek Campos to capitulate, and McKee has reached sweet 16. Look at what happens here. AJ ends up, Campos pushes off. AJ slides over the top. Watch his legs and what happens with this arm bar. We have an arm lock inside here. That is a straight, he puts it behind his arm. That is a tight arm lock. Beautiful submission victory. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the arm bar brings on the tap officially. One minute, eight seconds into round number three by submission. He now advances to the semifinals of the Featherweight World Grand Prix, the mercenary, A.J. McKee. Here's Big John McCarthy. Can't sing, you gotta talk to me, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am with your winner, A.J. McKee. AJ, that